Precision Spectra Remote Control. To better manage your chronic pain with your Boston Scientific Stimulator, it's important that you know how to use the remote control. This short video will teach you how to use the remote control correctly. The video should not be viewed as a substitute or shortcut for reading the remote control handbook. You should always read and fully understand the contents of the handbook before using your remote control. Remote Control Buttons and Functions Before we show you how to use the remote control, let's start by quickly explaining the various buttons. On the right-hand side of the remote control is the lock-unlock button. To unlock, press and hold this button until the screen tells you to release it. The stimulation buttons are on the front of the remote control and include the stimulation on-off button and the decrease and increase buttons. When you press the stimulation on-off button, you'll see a large symbol displayed in the center of the screen to indicate whether the stimulator is on or off. You can adjust stimulation strength by pressing either the increase or the decrease buttons. These control the stimulation strength of the program currently running. For ease of use, the program stimulation strength is displayed both in a graph and as a percentage value. Below the stimulation buttons are the navigation buttons, which allow you to scroll through the various menus. And on the left side of the remote control, you will find both the home and programs buttons. Pressing the home button takes you directly back to the home screen. Pressing the programs button will open the programs menu screen. At the top of the remote control is a connection for the power cord. To charge the remote control's battery, connect the power supply cord to the remote control and the other end to a conventional wall outlet. Home screen. The remote control screen displays menus, symbols, status messages, error messages, and other important information. Whenever the remote control is unlocked, the home screen appears. This screen always displays the number and name of the program currently running. It also shows you the level of stimulation strength. The symbols at the top of the home screen allow you to check the charge level of the stimulator battery and remote control battery, while also showing you whether stimulation is on or off. Again, Pressing the Home button from almost all the other screens will return you to the Home screen. To turn stimulation on, first unlock the remote control. Then, press the Stimulation On-Off button. Use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the stimulation strength to your own comfort level. The minus button decreases stimulation while the plus button increases it. To turn stimulation off, simply press the stimulation on-off button. If you want to lock the remote control, press the lock-unlock button. You'll notice that whenever the remote control is not in use, the screen automatically goes dark after about one minute. No need to worry, there is nothing wrong. This sleep mode occurs in order to save the remote control's battery power. In addition, stimulation can be turned off at any time, even when the remote control is locked. This is for your convenience. However, to turn stimulation on, you must always unlock the remote first. If your remote is not responding, or if you receive a communication failed message, Place your remote control closer to the stimulator. If you're charging and get this response, turn off your charger. The stimulator cannot communicate with the remote when it's charging. Changing programs. If your healthcare provider has given you programs that can be changed,
you can press the Programs button on the left side of the remote control to view the Programs menu. You can easily change the currently running program to a different program. To change a program, simply press the right navigation button, which allows you to enter the Change Program menu. Then press the up or down buttons to select the desired program. Once there, press the right navigation button to get to the selected program. If you make any changes to your stimulation program, such as modifying the stimulation strength, something different will happen when you change programs. Once you enter the Change Program menu, a message will appear on your screen asking if you want to save the changes. If you're sure you want to save the changes, select the center button or right arrow button to choose Yes. If you don't want to save the changes, simply select No, Discard. We hope this Boston Scientific remote control video has been helpful. Please remember you can consult your patient handbook, or if you have additional questions, please call the patient support line. From all of us at Boston Scientific, thank you.